Hello! Sim the World here, back playing some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. On today's video, we'll pick up where we left off last time, finishing our current order. After that, we'll continue our progress towards expanding to be the next top garage. In the last video, we worked on a bunch of jobs to help level up and unlock a bunch of new tools. We left off having taken this order here and using those new tools to diagnose and find what was wrong with this vehicle. In addition to testing the vehicle, I've also made sure to test the audio settings to ensure that you get the full garage experience of all the missed calls and power tools going off in the background. As we jump into the engine bay, let's take a look at the car's status. As we can see, we have a lot more parts to find, but we can do that as we begin to fix the issues at hand. We actually see most of these issues are on the undercarriage of the vehicle. We want to be working on the suspension. So let's get the car up in the air and start taking a look at what we can find. We'll start by taking the tire off. As we can see, the brake caliper looks bad. We've already identified that, similarly with the brake pad and the brake disc. We also have the wheel hub cap here. This looks pretty rusty. Another way of identifying parts that need to be replaced, we can go into examine mode. And if you pulled, you see that's in the red. It's at 13%. That needs to go. And underneath we have the wheel hub bearing. I'd be willing to bet that needs to be replaced as well. Oh, that 55%. It's all right. We do know that the lower suspension arm needs to be replaced, so we'll remove that. Tie rods, both outer and inner, look rusted. And we know the bushings need to be replaced here. We have the front suspension cross member. Um, that looks pretty rusty, so let us examine that. That too needs to be replaced. Just by diving into the job, we're already finding a bunch of components that we're going to need to take care of. Brake caliper looks fine. This brake pad does need to be replaced, so it does need to come off. However, the disc is fine. And let's check that wheel hub bearing. That's fine again. We'll take out the bushings. Now for these lower suspension arms, let's keep an eye out in the top left corner. Those take two bushings, one of which was fine, one of which needs replaced. We'll be sure to order those in a minute. Take off the tie rods. Now for the cross member, you have to make sure that you take out all the bushings before you can remove that. It's cross member B. And let's also check the steering rack. That needs to be examined by taking off the car. Not all parts you can just examine by clicking on. And that steering rack did need to be replaced. So, is there anything else on the front end that looks bad? The sway bars, the links, and the absorbers are fine. So, let us order some parts. We need a handful. Let's start with the brakes. We need a caliper, a disc, and I believe two brake pads. If we order too many, they'll always be used in follow up jobs. Now let's go to, we need six bushings. Make sure that they're not the small ones. We need regular size. We need two lower control arms, lower suspension arms. We need 
both inner and outer tie rods. Steering rack, if I can spell steering correctly. And we need the cross member. Cross member B. And we need the wheel hub caps. Two of those. I may be missing some parts, but we can always jump back into the tablet. That's why it was one of the first perks as soon as we could unlock that I took care of. No need to run around the shop if you have the tablet to order parts in hand. Steering rack is in, cross members in, putting the new bushings in. Um, one thing to note with these story jobs. As you can see, two of those bushings are at 55%. Those are still good, and those were the ones we pulled off the lower suspension arms. We want to make sure that any part that needs to be replaced, such as the bushings in the press member, are replaced with 100% parts. Otherwise, the job won't count. Because as we can see, the repair minimum needs to be 100%. For other jobs that we take that aren't story mode, sometimes those percents are lower. Um, we just need to make sure that those are accounted for correctly. So now with the lower suspension arm, um, as I mentioned, one needed to be replaced, the other we're going to do with the 55%, because that part's still good. And it doesn't matter which which side of those two you pick, it will count towards fixing the part. These wheel hub bearings were fine, so we won't replace those. The caps did need replaced. This disc needed replaced. Both front brake pads. This caliper as well needed to be replaced. And before we put the tire on, I actually want to take that over to the tire changer. Just to make sure that both are in good condition. It'd be an easy miss if the tire was bad and we couldn't tell by taking it just off the car. Now we're going to put the tie rods in. Both of those were replaced. And finally, this tire can go on. Up over to the other side. Similarly with the suspension arm. One new, one used. If you take your car into a mechanic in real life and they want to reuse a bushing like that, please find a different mechanic. There is no point if you're replacing the suspension arm just to replace one bushing. They're cheap in comparison. <laughs> Let's put the wheel hub cap on. We're using the old caliper. And the tire goes back on. For sanity's sake, let's take a look at the car status. So we actually have more parts to find, but we found most. Let's go ahead and jump to the back. So we know we have brake calipers to replace back here. As as we saw, caliper needs to be taken care of. Brake pads bad. Uh, surprisingly, the disc isn't bad. Um, yeah, you can look here, the difference in bushings. Let's, let's focus on that real quick. We see how this is all dark and black, but we have white spots. 
Let's take that out and buy a new bushing. These usually need to be replaced in pairs, so I'll grab two for the future. And let's compare that dirty old one to the new one. Brand new one, it's solid color. You don't see the white and black mixes. Um, that can help you in determining what needs to be replaced and what doesn't. Looking at the rest here, nothing looks outrageously rusty. Let's take this tire off. This caliper looks fine. Brake pad needed to replace. And that looked to be about it. So let's order the additional brake parts. So we needed one disc, two pads, another caliper. Go ahead and put these on. Oh, we only needed one disc. Okay. Well, we'll keep the same rusty discs for them. I think that would give you some trouble. Now, this caliper was the one we did not replace, so let's make sure that we keep them to the similar side so the story mode doesn't give us an issue. Let's also remove this pushing because that needs replaced. As I mentioned, those come in pairs, typically. Finally, we'll throw back on the tire. We'll come over to the other side and keep the same rust, rusty discs. Put on the new pad and put on the new caliper. And we'll put on the wheel. All right. That takes care of this side. Let's let's check out the car status again. We're still missing two parts. And it's saying we need more rubber bushings replaced. Let's take a look what's still lighting up red. We go into examine mode. Those bushings are replaced. I think the rear end looks fine. I'm not seeing any issues. Let's go ahead and take that lower suspension arm off. Why don't we just replace those two bad bushings? Some of these orders do have glitches in them where it's difficult to identify and make sure that the 100% mark is completed as they requested. Well, let's do the same over here and see if that helps. So all the bushings on this vehicle have been replaced. Check the car status. And that did take care of that. So we need to replace one of the ventilated discs. We replaced the one on this side. Um, so let's just replace this one. To make sure we get that check mark. Perhaps I mixed up which side the parts need to be replaced on. Uh, that's easy to do on these bigger orders. In reality, I would expect that both the rotors get replaced at the same time. So I think, at least in this case, it makes this job a little more realistic. And before we put the tire on, let's make sure that works. Yep, 
We're looking good. We just have two parts that have yet to be discovered. Now to find those last two parts. I'm gonna check the description again to see what see if there's anything uh, that gives us any clues. They mention a strange smell. Let's jump into the engine bay and see if that can that has anything to do with the smell. Two hours later. So as you can see, we actually missed the solid drive rear axle. Can you imagine that? This is why it's important keep an eye out because it really could be any part and the rust doesn't give you the full picture. So let's replace that. We can complete this order. We'll need to replace both on both sides. We can see the new part makes such a difference. And we're just going to replace the back brake just to make sure that this job gets completed. I believe we replaced the other side. This just goes to show that this game really goes in depth because it's hard to tell and you need to be thorough when you're looking to complete these jobs. Because even something as small is just missing a little bit of extra rust on the outside of that rear drive axle. Like I assumed that because we saw a bunch of gray, this part was fine. But in reality, we should have been a bit more careful. we continue going through these story jobs we'll have to make sure to be on the lookout make sure that doesn't happen again we'll replace that and I believe those should be the last two parts we need to replace you check the car status we have check marks on everything and we finished that order. Seems we forgot to replace one of the parts that we took off earlier while we were investigating to see what those last two missing parts could have been. Is there anything else we're missing? Missing the fuel filter. Should be all I took off. And there we have it. Job was a little rough. Just hard tracking down those parts. But with these new tools, that certainly did give us a head start. Thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Sim the world.